Steven Spielberg's back in the new film, Ready Player One. We're rolling film right now. Hey guys, what's up? It's Russell here at House Hollywood Reviews. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button, that little bell notification icon. You'll get notified the time I drop a new movie review, trailer review, anything new. You guys will get notified, so go ahead and do that. Also, stick around to like and comment after the video. Uh, sorry I've been gone for the last couple weeks. I have been busy training for my new job. It's had me out of town and just basically trying to get adapted to that new schedule. So I appreciate everybody that's been patient. I put up a couple trailer reviews, but we're going to go ahead and dive into these uh, movie reviews reviews. Some of the movies have come out a couple weeks ago, but nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and dive right into them. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Ready Player One. It is rated PG-13 with a runtime of two hours, 20 minutes. It stars Ty Sheridan, Olivia Cook, Ben Mendelsohn, and Lena Waithe, and it's directed by Steven Spielberg. This film is absolutely fantastic. It's absolutely one of my favorites of the year. It actually uh, surpasses Black Panther for me. Um, the film is just beautiful to look at on the screen, and it's just, it's such a great nod to, uh, Easter eggs that are thrown in from the 80s and 90s, and it's just it's just a fresh breath of air that Steven Spielberg has uh, has made. Uh, the film takes place in the year 2045. We meet the main character Wade, who's played by Ty Sheridan, and they basically escape into this world called the Oasis. And the Oasis is a virtual, uh, per, pretty much a virtual reality universe that most of the people uh, in the film all submerge themselves into to spend the rest of, to spend a lot of their days and kill up a lot of the days of their their life doing that. Well, this uh, world called the Oasis, there is a creator of it. Called, uh, his name is Halliday. He's played by Mark Rylance, who you may remember from Bridge of Spies, won an Academy Award. Um, and pretty much he is the creator of this. And right, right when they get wind of uh, his death, he actually leaves a video saying that... Um, Issues a challenge to pretty much everybody to find the Easter egg that he has hidden inside the Oasis. Well, the one that finds this Easter egg uh, in the Oasis will uh, will uh, get the fortune that um, uh, that Halliday will leave to them. So it's pretty much like a Willy Wonka meets like virtual reality meets uh, sci-fi nerd all messed into one. This movie is an absolute great spectacle to uh, behold on the screen. I had a, such a great time watching it. Um, some of the pros for this film, um, I just like the Easter eggs that were in the film. Like if you watched the trailer, you saw the DeLorean, you saw Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees is in it, uh, nods to like video games like uh, Battletoads, and there's just all sorts of different Easter eggs and uh, pop culture references all throughout the whole entire film, which actually makes me want to go and uh, even uh, see it again just to try to catch all of them because there's just so much uh, during the film that you just can't catch all of them because there's just so much coming out at you. Um, and the, it was beautiful to look at on the screen. It's such a sharp, beautiful world that the Oasis is, and it's just a fun time. And and this is Spielberg at his best. I really thought the last couple films Spielberg has released hasn't haven't been up to the Spielberg standard, and I think he absolutely blew the bar away with this one. Um, like I said in earlier, I think this is my favorite film of 2018 so far. I think it surpasses Black Panther, so I have Ready Player One. Black Panther number two, but this movie is just fun. If you're a fan of the nostalgic 80s and 90s and you just love sci-fi and you just love the virtual reality world, this movie it just opens up this whole entire world to you and it's such a great film and I just, I just had so much fun. I can't speak highly enough about it because it was just so much fun watching it. Um, overall, I gave this movie five out of five stars. This is my top for 2018 so far and it'll be interesting to see if Infinity Wars surpasses that. I, I imagine it will. But for now, this movie is great. If you're into that type of sci-fi, nerdy type thing like that, uh, absolutely check this film out. This film will not disappoint you. It, it, there's not too much dead time in this movie. This movie is a fun two hours and 20 minutes. It blows by for sure. But more importantly, have you guys seen Ready Player One? If you have, did you guys enjoy the film? Go ahead and sound off there in the comments. Did you guys enjoy all the Easter eggs that were in the film? Go ahead and sound off in the comments. And more importantly, what is your favorite Steven Spielberg movie? Go ahead and sound off there in the comments. And join me next time on House Hollywood Reviews when I try to get caught up with all these other films that I need to review. I'm so behind, so... Until then, we'll see you guys in Hollywood.